Good morning, my name is Shafar and I'm from uh, Modix. Uh, this is the second day in TCT Show UK. Uh, we are showing now uh, two printers, one the Big 60 version 2 and the larger one, uh, the 120X. Uh, this printer is a new edition and it's actually an add-on for the Big 60. We are doubling the print space from 61, 61 on 61 centimeters to uh, double on the x-axis. So you get uh, approximately uh, 120 centimeters and a little bit more. What's special about our printers? Uh, first, we use uh, premium components, and it's not just for the name, but for the print quality and for the reliability. So it is E3D print head, it is Hewen rails. It is uh, gates and belts and minwell power supply, etc. etc. These components contribute for the uh, heavy duty usage profile and for the print quality as well. So, uh, this is the Big 60 version 2, and it's not a new release. Uh, after uh, 6 on uh, now the 7th uh, iteration, uh, there's so many changes, there's so many improvements built into this uh, printer. So we've decided that it is uh, really different from the printer we launched a year ago. So it is now version 2. Uh, the most of the changes were in BEX 6 uh, in June. Uh, we replaced the firmware and many other uh, aspects and I will explain. Uh, first, uh, from button top, uh, there's a new bed heater. It is, uh, the bed controller is PID controller. So the temperature is much more stable than before. Um, we changed. Uh, we used to have a touch screen, but didn't have access to all the inner firmware settings. And now with the, uh, uh, the standard LCD controller, uh, uh, you don't have the icons, but you have a lot of control for the power settings of the printer. Um, the enclosure. The enclosure is uh, now uh, uh, much more clean and easier to, to see the, um, uh, uh, the print. Uh, we took the, the controller from the side of the machine to the, to, to the top, to the side, uh, and to the left top side of the, of the machine. So it's easier to access now the print, the print space uh, uh, and you have a better and clearer view. Let me take out of the, this dolphin. This dolphin made in uh, 100 hours, made of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts, uh, in total 100 uh, uh, hours, it's hollow, so it's relatively uh, very light, um, and, and this is the original prints, and we just painted, um, we painted the head just to see the, the raw print, how it goes out of the, uh, the printer. This is an interesting uh, print, uh, it is uh, showing, it's only two layers and uh, it's very flexible of course, it's made of PLA and it's showing the bed leveling. Uh, today uh, in the version 2 we have a 100 point of measuring of the bed, 10 by 10 and this uh, allows uh, the malleable firmware to compensate on the very very tiny differences uh, as the bed plate a band uh, during the heating process as every uh, metal does so uh, the result is a very very uh, smooth and flat uh, first layer so even a very big and this is the entire uh, print space get, can get a very nice uh, uh, leveled uh, first layer this is a great uh, print made by one of our customers Tony 3D from uh, Israel they do architecture come from the back uh, they do uh, architecture modeling and this is the first floor we have also the second floor but this is showing a really nice implementation of the size of the printer you can print the entire flat without, uh, uh, in one piece and get a, a very nice uh, demonstration of architectural uh, design this printer, there are some differences one of them is we have four screws instead of three in the big 16 we have three screws which support the bed, the z-axis screws, so we added another one because of the weight of the bed, you need to stabilize it better, so four screws gives you the right uh, uh, um, ability to, to keep the bed from moving. Um, 
example for printing large objects, uh, longer than one meter, uh, this sword is, is quite long. These are a nice example for uh, uh, full scale, full scale mo uh, model of a rocket, a tennis rocket. Uh, this is made of the PPG and this is PLA. And uh, this made an, an idea came from a French customer of us. So it's actually printed in three parts and then glued together to make this net. The net is also from the same material, PPG or PLA. And um, you just need to print the ball and start to play.